Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here are your daily technical analysis of Brent Crude Oil and Spot Gold. I'll start with Ice Brent Crude Oil Futures. A second bearish black crow yesterday and a follow-on to the previous session's counter-to-counter -counter bearish dark cloud cover pattern. The market punched down through the flatlining short medium moving average, currently at 92.52, as well as the lesser Fibonacci line at 92.07, and more importantly, the broken upper bear channel line, currently at 91.92. This last one is important as it seems the market may be trying to repair the damage to this broken bear channel. More on this as it happens. Okay, so I'd previously spoken a lot about the twin bear channel idea I had for this market. We had a late July to date bear channel, currently at 74.69 to 91.92, which had until three weeks ago been running this market. The move up since then, and now back down, had broken the smaller of the two bear channels, though I'm wondering if the market is now repairing this upper bear channel line. We also have still live a second upper bear channel idea, something I'd often repeated. Both bear channels have the same lower bear channel line, which is 74.69 currently, originating from early August, but the second larger bear channel utilizes the March to date downtrend, currently at 102.70. The issue that clogs this idea is that the same, at the same time as this higher trend line, we have a congestion band between 101.55 to 103.35, which has lurking within it the flatlining long moving average, currently 103.27. There is one other pattern, an important one, one that I've been talking about at the end of last week, and that is last week's weekly key reversal up. This is an interesting pattern that seems to have come somewhat out of the blue, but it is there as a genuine pattern. The issue has been whether the market really wanted to make such a pattern in the first place given recent actions. I repeat my suspicion that it did not. So far today, a higher open, but then a fresh if small move lower below yesterday's low, if only by a little. We're now in some fairly free air below until at least the mid-October lows at 89.32 and 88.77. And we should be mindful of the overhead possibly reconstituted upper bear channel line. It'd be interesting to see how this goes now. Spot Gold. A second bearish black crow yesterday and a follow-on to the previous session's interesting bearish harami. It looks like the overhead congestion, what I originally called the overhead formidable congestion, the congestion band between 1779 to 1788, may have broken the back of the recent rise. It is not certain yet, but it looks like the rising wave may have crested and is perhaps sliding back down. Add to this the now overhead congestion at 1771 and it seems the bullish incentive from the weekly key reversal up last week may have finally run its course. Yet I would still like to point out one other feature. You see, in the bigger picture, we are still set up with just over half of November gone for this month to be a monthly key reversal. Thus, if we close on the 30th of November, either over 1660 or under 1633, then we're beyond. Right now, we are still very much looking like a monthly key reversal up. Looking below, the next supports are at 1754, which is where we halted yesterday, and then the September 2021 low at 1721, plus the flatlining medium moving average currently 1711. Now, looking once more against the overall action here since September, I'd previously highlighted how the action was reminiscent of a triple bottom with a double bottom within it formed over October and early November. We have already reached the primary and secondary targets for the double bottom, and last Thursday the market's actions triggered the potential targets for the triple bottom. Thus we have a primary target X2 above in the 18.15 area, 1.5 area, with a secondary harder to achieve target X3 in the 1862 area. These now might be at risk. So far today, a small reactionary pullback up but it's not as yet managed to test the overhead congestion at 1771. It's actually pulled back down, so it looks like an indecisive doji cross right now. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives you essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright's Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.